Hello, hello, and welcome to another monthly product update. We are in March, and we have an update of a bunch of products for you. Now, the reason for these streams each month is to maintain total transparency in our products. We're telling you what we're working on, what we shipped, and also what we may not have shipped. So if you've been here the past few months, uh, you'll notice you have some different colors here. We are not showing attributes or CMS bridge, although I'll give you a couple of notes on them. We have two new items on this list, Client First and FinSuite Plus. We have some good information from both of those products. But let's get into it with components. So leading with components, we are always making updates to this. And what we shipped last month, a couple of new updates to our cookie consent solution. So we are now showing you how to fire tags with custom events in the documentation. We also have the Google Tag Manager template with the new opt out option. Pretty much as we hear feedback and, and all the things that users are telling us about cookie consent, we're trying to improve and make updates and updates. That is our goal. So we've also added new messages to the app regarding unpublished, protected, and private staging URLs. Uh, just trying to make it more clear to use the application. The issue of duplicated Google Analytics views in some setups has been fixed, as well as consent mode not firing on some page loads during opt-out. That has also been resolved. If you have any issue, any weird thing that you think may be going on with anything components, anything cookie consent, we're always going to be here making those updates. And what we're working on this month, attributes. Uh, we've diverted a lot of our skills and talent and resources to launching our attribute solution. We don't have a specific update. We have all hands on deck working on documentation, videos, uh, information, resources. And yeah, that's, uh, that's why we don't have a really firm components roadmap uh, for this month, right? We're, we're going to launch that attribute solution. It's going to be awesome. We are working on the components library. We have our developers working on that. The components library is meant to give you quick add to page solutions for components. We have team sliders, gallery sliders, testimonial sliders, hero sliders, all different types of sliders that you can very quickly one click add to the page. This is also going to be for all of our other solutions in components like cookie consent, like marquee, like all the other things that we are building. Uh, we may be doing something with Instagram, wink, wink, that's going to be fun. And you'll have components for those solutions too. So this is going to be awesome. We, it's obviously a big project. We've been talking about it a lot the past few monthly product updates, and it's pretty cool. So that's it for components. We're working hard there, loving components. Please give your feedback. We hear great things. We hear room for improvement. Uh, we are so invested in components and making this a really, really powerful library of solutions. We're all yours. Moving on, the big news from Client First. This hasn't made the monthly product update uh, in a while. And we're working on something awesome that we uh, are so happy to, to release, and that's the certification. Development is finished. It's a totally custom, unique system, and we are currently in internal testing. We're running our own team through the certification, and we have launch set for March 18th, officially. It's done. So uh, yeah, we're, we're actually going to launch it on that date. That's awesome. And here's a little preview. Right? We have dedicated landing pages. We have dedicated questionnaires, certificates, the whole, the whole shebang. And yeah, this is a preview right here. We're going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. and. If you answer those questions, you are um, on your road to certification. We're going to have a lot more information for you. But first, let's talk about who should apply. People who are skilled in client first already, if you are using client first, this should be, uh, this should be a really good exercise for you. You should know all these answers. You can become certified. Um, if you're looking for Webflow jobs uh, or opportunities, we're trying to get people more opportunities, get more jobs. Uh, when a customer, comes to Webflow and wants a developer and they find client first, they like the idea of client first, they'll be able to look through all of the experts, the people who have passed the certification. 
it's for agencies, individuals. You can have team certifications. Uh, we're we're really excited to to give this to just about anybody who wants to become certified. You can earn certificates and badges showing your knowledge in client first. It's going to be completely vetted by FinSuite by people who have been using Webflow for many, many years. You'll get featured in that experts directory. And really the goal is to get more trust and job opportunity, especially if you're just starting out or you have customers who are not sure about your uh, level of skill. Having this certification vetted by FinSuite, certified 100% on our landing page, that gives you that extra sense of trust and hopefully will help you win more projects. That's our goal here. Pricing. The enrollment fee is $129. FinSuite Plus members get 10% off, which brings your base price to $116. On top of that, everybody gets a 10% launch discount using Launch 10. And those who attended last year's live streams are uh, dedicated long-term users. You're going to get 20% off using Live 20. Uh, and just to be clear, you can't use Launch 10 and Live 20 together. You can use one or the other. The FinSuite Plus benefit, that gets added on top of either of those discounts. Sign up for the waiting list. If this sounds good to you, if you are ready to be certified, if you love Client First, go here, fill out this form, and we'll let you know when we launch. That's client-first-waiting-list.webflow.io. So go ahead, check that out and we'll let you know when we're live. All right, moving on, good news client first, let's talk FinSuite Plus. This is a big set of information. We're always updating what we do here, and I think we've really found uh, what a lot of people have been asking for. 10% off all FinSuite products across the whole board. If you are a FinSuite Plus user, you will get an automatic applied at checkout 10% discount on any subscription, content, or one-time payment for FinSuite products. It's just automatic. There's no coupon codes or anything. We know who's a FinSuite Plus user, and on every purchase, you get that 10% off. This is not going away. We change a lot of our initiatives for FinSuite Plus. This one is not going to expire. This is going to be a, a forever thing. So when you get this 10% off, it can be bundled with other discounts. So. Uh, we're, we're just trying to support and thank our, our FinSuite Plus users. All right, that's it for FinSuite Plus. Big news. That's exciting. I hope all of you FinSuite Plus account holders are uh, really happy about that. WISD, what we shipped last month, we have new enable and disable event action toggle. We've added Firebase email verification methods. We have a new storage bucket field in Firebase apps to support any new and custom buckets. We have a new wiz.elements.update JavaScript API method to rescan the page for dynamically added elements. Also a new wiz.request.getClient method uh, to interact with Firebase modules. Also UI improvements and fixes. There we go. What we're working on this month are upcoming releases. We have documentation improvements. We have Nelson uh, doing a great job with that, adding guides and examples. We'll be releasing, we'll be really updating those every week or every few weeks. We have um, AI chatbot for general whiz questions. We also have AI code auto completions. So we are trying to integrate AI to help you build in whiz, help you build better, help you build quicker, help you build in general, try to get more new people to have real actionable functionality inside the platform. So yeah, we're, we're, we, we want this to help you coders and developers who are very familiar with writing code to, to really be able to use these AI features to accelerate the workflow. And then for new people, just better onboarding to the platform, something that can answer your questions and help you achieve your first project. So excited about that. That's gonna be a big update for us. We also have a new AI app integration where you'll be able to prompt any AI directly from the front end. So you have a Webflow project, you want to integrate ChatGPT, this will allow you to do that. All through WISD, 
uh, and no exposure of the API key. Uh, wildcard domains, import curl requests. These are requests from the, the community and we're getting these done soon. That's it for this monthly product update. That was a good uh, release of information. I'm really happy about everything. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at our support forum. That's forum.finsuite.com and we'll be able to help you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your support and being a FinSuite follower. We'll be back next month with more information and definitely some good information about attributes. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the day and thank you so much.